from 2014. I began this project a year ago, and so I've now completed a phase of my plan to establish a digital cultural museum in Smithfield and Cabramatta area, which promotes local talent and maintains bulletin board on current issues. It will pay for martial arts clips and cultural dance, which are open source so as to allow free use or nominal cost. It will allow me to post videos and articles without editorial interference from FB, Google, and so on. Not a free-for-all discussion, not a free-for-all. Discussion involves listening as well as voicing an opinion. The phase I have completed is a daily historical column, not really complete. There is a three-week hole which needs to be filled and the articles need revising and editing and to be fleshed out. Also, a survey of day events from Wikipedia. The emphasis is a conservative voice which is not available through mainstream press in Australia. There are a few conservative commentators, <coughs> but the best news service, news.com.au, is balanced and often compromised through left-wing advocacy. Whereas left-wing ideology is a conformist in nature, conservatism is, is, conservatism is a broad tent with diverse opinion and agenda. The leader of the opposition has announced he has been investigated for a sexual assault claim made about events in the 80s. The prosecution has announced they could not reasonably hope for a successful prosecution, and so that ringing endorsement, which is more sustained than Cardinal Pell or Hollingworth, shortened claims he is innocent. The victim is upset at the decision on the prosecutor. It would also be impossible to prosecute Shorten on the issue of competence, something Shorten no doubt feels abhorrent to him. <coughs> the event related to a young labour camp when Shorten was 19 and the victim was 16 years old. Reminder, if it were needed, that the former ACTU leader has never done anything in his life but order people around on labour activist issues. More information has been released regarding the beheading of a journalist in the Middle East by Islamic terrorists. Apparently, the family who were working to have the victim freed had been sent a threatening email demanding Obama stop bombing a week ago. Apparently, special forces were tasked to free the journalist. The follow-up journalist is then probably already dead, but the terrorists are timing the release of the death video. It is a reminder that the theory of evolution is a disproof of Islam, not the Islam of faithful peoples who coexist peacefully with others and have contributed to arts and science over the years, but the so-called Islam of murderous, hateful thugs, whose so-called Allah uses mentally ill people to represent his people. <coughs> crimes against humanity bring Islam into disrepute, and it is incumbent on those who are faithful to resist those who champion terrorism. Who wants to be represented by a pervert? Allah? That's it for today. If you come by this video at a later time and you like it, like it! Also feel free to comment and share. Spread the love. Be well.